it really does feel like when you are in the thick of it, when you're right in the middle of it, it does feel like it rips away every ounce of joy and goal, you know, orientation and, and the dreams that you have and, or, or had and makes you question everything. You just, it, it is, it's that thing of like, this is never going to end. Yeah. I think that's so important because part of that extremism and the dramaticism that comes with um, OCD thoughts and some of those intrusive thoughts is like, this is going to last forever. I will never get over this. I will never recover. Uh, it will always be this hard. For me in that moment, it was like, no, those, I can never do those things. I can't even get off the couch. I can't even eat a meal. I can't even take a shower, right? Like those things are so, like this illness is so debilitating for me that it feels like forever. I'm of the full belief that anyone with, you know, OCD or a chronic anxiety, like I think these are the strongest people ever you know the things that we think make us so weak or timid or whatever we're saying to ourselves i constantly then all of a sudden you get to the other side for a second and you go gosh who else could do this you know like i i wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy i just want people to know that there is hope there is you know there is the other side i want to highlight what you said which is that there is an other side there is an after to this and so hang in there like stay with us yes. until you know that time comes but we survive and and eventually can thrive.